Minto began operations in 1955. In the beginning, obviously, we're all in one city, under one roof, and so the concept of one Minto was not something that anybody talked about because it was logical. While everybody started doing things somewhat differently in terms of processes and dealing with our customers, one thing remained constant throughout, and that's our core values. And we're here in Center Point right now, uh, which is a community we started building in 1984. What you see behind us now is uh, the last 262 homes that we're going to be building here. This community represents a lot of what Minto's done. We built a lot of fine houses. Uh, it's turned into a bit of a landmark uh, community for the people of Ottawa. And when they have that beautiful home smack in the middle of a Minto community, it inspires life. Irving first came to Florida in 1978 as the economy in Canada was contracting. And he identified Florida as a market where Minto could expand its North American operation. It's no secret that Irving and I had a very special relationship. To me, he epitomized the essence of the great builder. He understood all facets of the business. His morals, his work ethic, and his values are still the driving force behind the company. Irving had a vision for Toronto. He saw the long-term growth prospects of Toronto. Our vision was to enhance Toronto's skyline by building a better design product, a better built product. We have several really um, landmark developments that we built in Toronto. Uh, the first one would be the Prince Arthur. Today it's recognized as one of the top five places to live in urban Toronto. And the next is uh, Radiance. Radiance is uh, built at Young and Shepherd, phase one of our Minto Gardens development. Today it is the second most advanced building built in Canada that's up and running. The most advanced building in Canada is Minto Roehampton, where we achieved a lead gold and we're achieving similar type of energy reduction numbers. Minto Midtown is recognized in Toronto as being one of the three or four most important planning decisions in the last 50 years. There were 35,000 homes, ratepayers that were against us, but we persevered because we knew it was the right thing for the people of Toronto and ultimately what's good for the people is good for Minto. The future of Minto that I see is bigger, broader, better. It'll be bigger because we'll be building more homes, uh, building, owning and managing more commercial properties. Uh, we'll be a broader company because we'll be in new locations. And I think we'll be better because what Minto is about is uh, the pursuit of a better way. We get involved with a lot of charitable organizations, a lot of agencies that help produce that important pillar for community success. Things like our schools, our hospitals, sports, arts, entertainment. These are things that need to be successful for us to be successful. All companies are like living organisms. They need to adapt, they need to change, they need to grow. Markets do not stay stable, they do not stay constant. In order to remain successful, we have to adapt our ways to those changing market conditions. The aim of One Minto is to uh, give the entire enterprise a common sense of purpose and, and direction um, so that all of the team is pulling on the oars in the same general direction. You know, if we're competing as five separate little Mintos, we lose that strength. To Roger's credit, he introduced the One Minto concept in 2005. In my opinion, it's going to be the cornerstone to prepare Minto for the future. We are investing heavily in management training and leadership development at all levels for our staff. That is the key, the next generation of leaders that will take Minto into the future. Everything begins and ends with the customer. If we don't provide the customer with an exceptional experience, they won't come back to us again. I rarely meet customers, but it's a real thrill for me when I do meet them or when I get letters, as I do frequently, complimenting our staff on providing excellent customer service. It really warms my heart. It tells me that we have a great future ahead of ourselves. I was drawn to Minto by its financial strength, its remarkable success history, and enduring family values centered on integrity. When I joined Minto, I looked at the jacket and tried it on, and it fit well. After 18 months with the company, I found that not only does it fit well, but it wears well. I think it is a lot different than what you would see in a public business. They tend to treat the people working at Minto sort of as part of their extended family, and want to do not only what's good for the company or good for the Greenbergs, but also what's good for the employees. Uh, we want people to give back to the community. We have programs to encourage people to do that. And of course, we want them to work hard and do a good job, and they do that too. We're constantly trying to do better each and every day, and I think that's a philosophy and an ethic that permeates throughout the whole company. 
and it's one of the reasons that people are proud to, to call Minto uh, the place where they come to work every day. We're all getting older and we have to contemplate the day when we're going to retire, particularly my brothers Robert, Alan and myself. One of the most important tasks of any leader is to ensure that there are successful leaders to take their place. It's an obligation that we owe to our customers, it's an obligation that we owe to our staff, and it's an obligation we owe to our shareholders. One Minto allows us to pull together as a cohesive whole. Succession planning and leadership development is a, is a, is a significant component of that. There's an opportunity for our new leaders to take on the morals and values that have made our company such a great company. I've always been amazed by how staff respond to the challenges of coming to work every day. It's something that I can't express often enough. Sure we want to be profitable, sure we want to be viable, uh, and those are important uh, points, but for me, it's the people I work with day in, day out that, that gives me the most satisfaction. I'm really excited about the future. I don't see it as a challenge, but I see it as an opportunity to meld the new with the old, to come together to make us stronger as we move forward. And that's the essence of One Minto, is to come together in a collaborative environment, to combine processes, to put together the best talents of our individuals in each of the groups that they're working within, and to come up with a better way, a more efficient way, a more productive way of delivering our product, of delivering our service, so that our customers benefit. And we've had a long time saying at Minto that if what we do benefits our customers, it'll be good for Minto as well.